So, uh, yesterday, and I should have talked about this sooner, sorry, universe, uh, yesterday, uh, there was another, uh, vague Marvel teaser, they love to do these for their events, um, and there was a vague teaser, although this one, I'll give it this, is that they were a little more clear with it, in that we are getting another symbiote-centric event, um, now, this one has been built up throughout Donny Cates' Venom run, which, by the way, as I've said multiple times, Donny Cates' Venom run is one... Vo Venom is one of the best books at Marvel right now. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Venom is one of the best Marvel books out there. Donny Cates is awesome with this series. And also, before I go any further, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Now, in Venom number 11, and this is going to involve some spoilers, so be prepared, um... Basically, what has happened is that um, Ven uh, um, Donny Cates retcon did some massive retcons with the Eddie Brock's family, in that he, you know, it turns out that the symbiote was the one giving him the cancer, which I could believe. You know, the symbiote has all this crazy shit that it could do that. But it also implanted memories in Eddie Brock's mind that he had a sister who died of cancer and an uncle who died of cancer, and also made him believe that the boy Dylan that he's met recently isn't, you know, is his little brother, when in fact, Dylan is Eddie's son, which makes us go, who's the mother, but I'm sure that'll be revealed at some point. So yeah, um, and this has been giving a lot of uh, flack. Personally, I'm fine with it, even though, yeah, it does kind of, ma it is kind of a massive retcon, but... Yeah, it's, you know, it's neither here nor there. Now, if he's, like, if it was something like well, this is kind of big because Eddie's sister did have some interaction with other characters, so I don't know if they're going to explain that or not, or something to that degree, who knows. Anywho, but this is, no, you know, of course, comic book fans being, well, comic book fans have think that this gives them the right to send death threats to, uh, to the writer. And we've seen this before with Dan Slott, we've seen it with his Spider-Man run, and we've seen this multiple times in both Marvel and DC, where we, you know, people have been sending death threats because they don't, you know, they don't like what they're doing with that character. And if you don't like what they're doing with that character, even I'm still, like, admittedly, I'm a little on the fence of this whole revelation of, you know, Eddie, you know, Eddie's sister, you know, Eddie not having a sister, and it was all, you know, the symbiote messing with his brain. But even I'm not gonna go up to Donnie Cates and say, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not gonna do that. He's the writer. He's the guy getting paid to do this. So, if you don't like it, just stop, you know? If you don't like it, just stop reading the book. It's that- I can't believe people- we still- it's 2019, and people still send, you know, think that just because they can, you know, threaten somebody with their life, they think they- you know, just because they read something or do something- JUST IGNORE IT! Just stop. Just stop reading the book, and just forget about it. That's all you need to do. It is that simple. You don't need to go threaten a person's life over something like this. I didn't like a lot of Dan Slott's Spider-Man run, but you don't see me go into his house with, you know, with torches and pitchforks. You know, shame on you. You know, shame on you if you think, you know, sending death threats to another human being over an imaginary character is a good thing, then, you know, get fucked is all I'm saying. Get fucked. <laughs> uh, anyway... So with that ran out of the way, let's talk about the actual event. Now, like I said, is that there's been a lot of uh, stuff going on in Donny Cates' Venom run, and this has been kind of built up already. Now, the major thing is that this is going to... The major two enemies we're going to be dealing with is Carnage, who has come back and has made his own cult and is now hunting the other symbiotes, um, as well as he is uh, more or less is stretching himself, you know, more or less stretching his influ his symbiote's influence out there, and at is actually overtaking the underground town from um, all the way back in in um, Dave Michelinie's Venom Lethal Protector series, which was the first mini series with Venom. So that was the big thing. Uh, so that's the b other big thing right there. Um, and we also have Null, who is the god of the symbiotes. And it is, you know, it's more or less, uh, it's all but confirmed that Null has always been behind Carnage. He has always been allied with Carnage. 
Um, like, he's been secretly puppete uh, puppeteering him from the get-go of explaining all these resurrections, which makes sense, you know, in a weird way. Um, all these miraculous resurrections with Cletus Cassidy and how he's so vividly tied in with um, that symbiote, you know, with the symbiote in his bloodstream, it makes sense, you know, it, it, with the, the whole Null thing. I was like, yeah, I can believe it. So Null, you know, working through Carnage is going to be attacking the Marvel Universe. And yes, I know, this isn't the first time we've had a symbiote invasion in Marvel. I could throw a stone in, and probably hit something back then. So this isn't anything new. What is new, however, is that Carnage is going to... This is probably going to be like Maximum Carnage 2, but on a bigger scale. Hopefully not as long and ridiculous uh, as Maximum Carnage. And Null is probably one of the coolest villains we've had to come out of Marvel, the Marvel Universe. One of the new villains we've had to come out of the Marvel Universe that's really cool. Null is a really terrifying threat. Um, he's just this, he was the first being um, that actually, one, he one-hit KO'd a, um, uh, a Celestial. And then forged the symbiotes in its head, from its severed head, you know. Good, you know, you can't get much more badass than that. So, yes, and I know this is going to be not too far off from after uh, War of the Realms has ended, but hopefully this will be a smaller scale event. And it also makes me wonder of where Venom is going to go as a character from here, because now, um, Eddie is kind of like, he's very much on the rocks with the symbiote right now after having, you know, he, you know, the symbiote was the one who was giving him a cancer-like disease just to keep him with him and more or less changed his life story and also wanted to keep him away from Dylan, who was his son and has been under his, you know, Eddie's abusive father's been taking care of Dylan and more or less beating the shit out of him whenever he could. So... It does make, you know, it does make for an interesting story. And I'm going to, like, throw my two cents into this right now. I think what's going to happen is that Eddie is going to die and Dylan will get the Venom symbiote for a short time. I think Dylan will be, like, a young Venom uh, at some point. That's, that's where I think it may go, is that Eddie, you know, we may get the death of Eddie Brock and Dylan will get the Venom symbiote. Or something to that degree. That's, again, I have no idea where this comic's gonna go. This is coming out in August, so I couldn't tell you uh, what ha what could happen. I really couldn't. But it looks cool. Um, we've had symbiote invasions before, but hopefully this will be a little different with, obviously, Carnage and, the you know, an actual celestial killing god backing him. Hopefully this will be a little different, rather than, everyone gets a symbiote! Hopefully it's not like that. Hopefully Donny Cates won't do the whole, it's everyone's getting a symbiote suit! You get a symbiote, and you get a symbiote! Because we had that in Venomverse already with Cullen Bunn. We did that already. We did this before. We did this, like, last year. We did that already. So, yeah, just no one get... Stop giving people symbiotes and just have everyone fighting Carnage and, you know, Null's, Null and his followers. Do that. Just, just to do that. Anyway, so you guys tell us, uh, so universe, you guys tell us in the comments below. What do you guys think of this upcoming symbi uh, you know, symbiote event? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Do you think Venom, you know, do you think Eddie Brock could die? And do you think he, you know, someone else could take the symbiote and be that, you know, be the new Venom for a short time until, you know, eventually comics have Eddie come back? Anyway, just comment below, let us know, and if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mighty Subscribers, and I would like to stress once again that we do have a um, contest going on right now. You guys can go back uh, a couple videos back on our channel and check out the rules for it, and you can be um, in the runnings for a cover of ba a uh, variant cover issue, uh, an actual issue of, with a variant cover of... Batman of Detective Comics number 1000, and not only that, be a part, and also be in a running for a Batman Who Laugh, Laughs Pop as well. So, just, yeah, I totally butchered that sentence, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so, uh, we will see you right here once more in the universe.